Okay, so I have nothing particular for this um, video that's like prepared. I didn't think, like sit back and think like, hmm, what am I gonna do today for this video? It just kinda, you know, is what it is at this point. Um, so yeah, I kinda wanted to go ahead and um, show you guys some things that, you know, I'm doing right now and um, some things that I find cool right now and one second. <laughs> okay. So as a lot of you already know, Parker's kind of a silly little guy. Um, and I just gave him a bath. And um, every time I give him a bath, he like, <laughs> he like goes through this phase where of course like in the bathtub, he absolutely hates it and he doesn't want to be a part of it. And then you take him out of the bathtub and you bring him downstairs and then he gets the zoomies. Um, and today he kind of skipped the zoomies and went straight to like fake shivering. So what he'll do is he'll like, his little jaw will just like clamp really quick. And he's not cold. It's really warm in here. Um, he's not cold because, I don't know, he's not shivering anymore and all I did was pick him up and put him in a chair. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's, he's kind of hanging out and doing his thing right now. <laughs> so I guess this video is sort of like a vlog kind of concept. Um, yeah, I just wanted to hang out, um, throw something up, and I actually... Um, since we started the video off with Parker, I'm gonna give a little bit of information about Parker because I haven't done like a, like a pet introduction really, um, with any of these guys, but Parker's got a special story. So when I was, I believe 11, um, my grandmother had Parker, um, and she had to move to a new apartment and they wouldn't let her bring the dog. So, she ended up bringing him to our house, putting him outside um, in a little crate, and um, telling us, you know, I can't take him to um, the animal shelter because it would hurt her heart too much, and she asked if my dad could. Um, and of course, the second that I saw him outside in that little cage, I begged my parents to keep him and so I've had him ever since and there's a little discrepancy about how old he is um, the vet has him marked as 15 years and four months but my grandma says that he's older than that and he should be 17 years old this year so um, yeah he's a little uh, dinosaur um, but 
he has been a very good, very healthy dog for a long time. And he's actually doing really well right now. The only issues that he has um, are he has congestive heart failure. And that honestly is has a lot to do with just his age and, um, you know, things not working right anymore. Um, he's prone to ear infections. He's prone to seizures. Um, but he's living his happiest little life. And in fact, if it weren't for, you know, him obviously taking medication for the congestive heart failure, um, no one would be able to tell that there was anything wrong with him. He's, a lot of people like, look at us like we're crazy when we say he's like old. Um, so yeah, he's just chilling. He's having a good time. But he's a sweet little boy, huh? And uh, yeah, he's spoiled rotten. So I think he's actually been to more states in the United States than my siblings have. And I think my dad. So, he's pretty cool. Another little tidbit about Parker, he is actually completely deaf and completely blind. So, um, he, I don't know how he manages to get around the way that he does, but he does a great job. And we actually didn't know that he was blind until our last visit with the vet. Um, and she was like, oh yeah, I'm not getting any signals that he can see from his um, his eye anymore. He had one good eye. Um, and so now he's blind and deaf. Um, so he has a habit of barking for us a lot. In fact, this morning while I was taking a shower, he was downstairs barking and barking and barking because William wasn't home. Um, so yeah, he's just a little sweetheart. He can't help it. Am I gonna get it? Is he doing it? Is he doing it? Oh yeah. 